What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I hope that you're staying safe and staying safe at the same time. So today's video is going to be really interesting. I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care of my dreadlocks at home. And it's a very cost effective way. It's, it's a way in which you can do at home. You don't have to go to the salon for this. And it's going to be done in three simple steps. And I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this. So the first step is washing the dreadlocks. I'm going to be showing you the products that I usually use to wash my dreadlocks. And then I'm going to be showing you what I do next which is treating my dreadlocks and the final step is very simple moisturizing them so that they can stay moisturized and they're, they're going to look healthy and they'll serve you for longer so i hope that you guys are going to enjoy this video so i'm going to insert a time lapse of me doing this and yes let's get on to the video so for those who might not know these are temporary dreadlocks it's been two months since i put them on it's become like my usual hairstyle like i've been doing this for the past like two years so I love putting on temporary dreadlocks because first of all it's a very good protective hairstyle and also it helps your hair really grow. So yeah, for those who don't know, I'm going to be leaving the details of this and I'm going to insert a new video. I mean insert a video that I did about this a few months ago. So let's get on to the video. <sighs> Hi everybody, so we just got to the bathroom and we are about to start washing. So the first step definitely is I'm going to be undoing the the knot I had put for the night because if you if you, if you don't put a knot when you're sleeping it's going to be very hectic because this hair is a lot. So that's the first step. Then um so we're going to start with washing the hair, definitely. So as you can see it's quite a lot of hair. However, the thing about this dreadlocks is the fact that they're very light. That's the thing that I really love about them. So yes, they could be a lot on your head, but they're very light. So we're going to start by washing them, and I usually use very normal shampoo. So the one that we have at home is the Zoe 2-in-1 shampoo. This one right here. That one. That's the one that we have at home. Then, then also I'm going to mix it up a bit with one that was almost over, the Miyagi Fruity Shampoo. So when I'm doing my dreadlocks, I don't complicate it with putting conditioner or anything of that sort. I just need to wash off any dirt that's on my hair, yeah? So I'm going to shampoo it and yeah, then after that I'm going to take it through the next step. So here we go, let's get started. In
So you guys, I am usually very particular about how my tea is. So I like my tea with conch, the majani tea leaves. And then I like to put rosemary, I also put tea masala. And then you wait for it to boil like twice for you to remove that. So yeah, I know people just take tea like, it's just tea. But for me, I am very particular about my tea. So let's make it with you guys. Hi everybody, so I guess right now the hair has dried up to a point where I can go to the next step. So this next step, it's very simple, I'm just going to be putting in leave-in conditioner in my hair so that it can treat my hair, so that, I mean leave-in treatment, because you see when you have dreadlocks you're going to keep your hair not treated for a very long time. So what I try to do is that every month at least once or twice a month and then you just treat it, I use leave-in so that it can stay up and be soaked up in the hair so that it can stay for longer and serve me for longer. So it's your choice, you can go to the salon, have your hair uh, deep conditioned in a, a, a steamer, then you're good to go. So for me I'm going to be using the Mikala. The Mikala, it's the Mikala Total Moisture Boost Living Treatment. So you just first of all undo the hair. As I had said, I put it in a knot so that. So what I do is, because it can be quite hectic to put the living treatment on all, all of your hair. So I, I like to partition it. So I'll remove the, the back part. So you just open up the knot. smells so fresh so you open up the knot and you go to the back part try it like that take your treatment Ooh. then you put it onto your scalp because remember my, my locks are not permanent so I'm more focused on treating my scalp more than anything else so, I keep doing that. Then we come to the side. To show them. I can still feel it's still dripping in my legs. But oh well, it's, it's not too much. Then to the center, forehead gang arriving for duty. <laughs> My scalp is quite sensitive because it's been a minute since it was manipulated by anyone. So, especially the center part is quite the sensitive part. Then we go on to the that's partitioning. Actually, this Mikala treatment is menthol. So you're going to be feeling some type of way when you put it onto your hairline and your scalp. Then, so 
at this point every part of my hair has every part of my head has gotten some treatment so this last step is very crucial it's very critical if you want your hair to grow if you want your hair to be without stress so you take some um, conditioner on your hands put some nice generous amount on your hands <coughs> like that then um, we're going to be massaging the scalp like professionals eh? so you put it all over your scalp the conditioner so that even when you're massaging your scalp you're not doing it on a dry skin so put it all over your scalp then now you start massaging it as get as deep as you can this way it will relax your hair muscles i mean your head muscles so that your hair is not under stress you massage it all over Oh, it feels amazing. Oh. So as I had said, now we leave it to dry up. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be holding it in a ponytail, holding my hair in a ponytail. Then I'm going to put the towel on top so that it can continue drying faster. Then I have my breakfast and get some work done. So what I should do, because this hair is really long, I'll just use some parts of the hair to hold the hair. Like how cool is that? So you put it in a ponytail, take some two strands of hair, hold it up, tie it into a knot so that it's easier for you to undo it. Yeah, so we have the hair in a ponytail. Then we're going to be putting it into a bun, a slight bun. So that you can be able to close it up with the towel what's up everybody so finally we are done with waiting for the hair to dry up it's finally dry i'm sure even once i remove the once i remove the towel it's still going to be dripping a bit but right now i can survive with it like that so we are on to the final step so we're going to be removing the towel oh i feel so fresh then we're going to be undoing the knot I had told you about so that I can be able to style it in a bun. Then this last step is something that you're actually recommended to be doing almost on a daily if you can or every two days. So there's this spray, it's called, um, I'm going to bring it closer to you guys so that you can see it. It's called Styling Dreads and it's, uh, it's by Tony Iro if I'm not wrong. Uh, okay. Styling Dreads Conditioning Spray, Moisture Splash with Softeners and Protein. So this is very good. So actually when you get your dreadlocks done, they tell you to avoid using solid, to avoid using solid oil on your hair because it's going to make your hair really hard to undo. The, the moment you want to come and do it, it's going to be so hard for your hair and it will become knotted. Like you see, have you ever stayed with braids for too long to a point where they be, begin to develop knots? So that's exactly what's going to happen to you. So they advise you to use this spray instead. So you can do it every two days, weekly if you want. If your hair doesn't dry up too fast, you can do it weekly. But for me, I like to do it every two or three days. So yeah, now that I've washed it, we're going to be spraying it. So this is very uh, casual. You just spray and show that every part of your hair gets the spray. Um, as I told you guys, because styling, I mean, these dreadlocks are... Uh, they are a protective hairstyle so you will end up not manipulating your hair for a while so when you get to wash it you'll be feeling a bit of pain on your scalp because it's been a while since you actually did anything on your scalp so we're going to be spraying it There we go. Then now, final step is to massage it in again. Like, it's, I told you, your hair can never have enough of massaging. Massaging really helps your scalp, it really relaxes your muscles and it helps your hair grow faster. So you massage it in again. 
and as you guys can see let me come closer to the camera as you can see my hair it's been two months of me having the locks so definitely my hair has grown out here yeah? but my plan is I want to try and go natural soon so I'm not going to I, I, I really don't want to do so much on my hair because I really want it to grow out and grow and go to a point where I can be able to cut it off and it will have a, a considerable a, a considerable length so let's keep massaging it in to a point where you feel like you've had like a good massage then I'm going to stain my hair with you guys then now I can fully get on with my day and do some work, get some work done. So, the hair is fresh, the hair is sparkling and it smells absolutely amazing. So final step is me styling my hair and then also how I'll show you guys how I lay my edges in a very simple way. With no stress, no pressure. So let's style the hair and then let's get on with our day. Hey guys, what's up? So to style my hair, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using three ingredients. So there's this ribbon stroke scarf. Then there is this Eco, Eco Styler Professional Styling Gel. This one right there, the one that's orangish. Then there's this brush that I use as a spoolie. So first things first, I like to do, I like to, let me get back so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I like to hold my hair up in a ponytail because I think, I actually think it looks very cute so I like to hold it up in a ponytail so my ponytail is going to be right at the top like I like it really high because I feel like it looks cute so it's as I had said the hair is not fully dry like I can feel it dripping a bit but it's at a point whereby I can handle I can hack for the day so make sure your hair is in the middle get your ribbon actually you guys i think i'm going to be doing an updated um an updated dreadlocks styling video because I, I, I noticed you guys really enjoyed the other one so i'll i'll think about new styles that you can try out with your temporary dreadlocks or your actual dreadlocks and then i'm going to be doing a video about that so that's it first part then you tie it in well then I like to do a bow tie here so these parts that are hanging I don't like it when they're hanging like that so I'll come and put them in inside the rest of the hair because I like it neat like that then also the thing is like as you can see it's already in a ponytail however i don't like the ribbon being seen unless it's 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 going to blend in well with my clothes so you can separate the hair a bit get some part of the hair then you take it round like that such that it covers where every place whereby the the ribbon was being seen Just like that and we're good to go so let me turn so that you guys can have a look there we have it so let me get closer be real with you guys most of the time I don't even bother much with my laying of my edges I'll just take a brush a hairbrush and scrub it off and ensure that they are laid down well but for today I just feel like looking cute so I'm going to take a bit of the of the Eco Styler then you first I apply it all over my hairline all over 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 it has more edges that have been laid as opposed to this other side and I think it's only normal because your hair cannot be your hair cannot be even everywhere so this side had this side had more hair that had grown out as opposed to this side so let me just so after you've 
laid them down like that you're going to need to wear a scarf so that it can dry out so I'm going to take my scarf so I have this scarf right here so you just take your scarf and put it on top of the edges like that And then I'm going to be giving it around 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and conclude the video with you guys. And then you're going to see how the final look looks when I put some lip. everybody so I've been with the scarf for almost 10 minutes now and I want to remove it so that I can conclude this video so as I had said the purpose of the scarf is to ensure that the gel dries out perfectly so let's see how it's turned out took you a minute so it's actually dried out really well as you can see it's okay I, I, I actually like it it's just a simple uh, day look and I there you have it so so thank you so much for watching this video I had so much fun filming this video for you guys thank you for the love I'm receiving so far you guys we're going to get to a thousand subscribers by June as then I cannot believe this like it's it's really taught me the importance of having a dream having a vision and working towards that so as always I'm going to be promising you promising you guys amazing content that's real authentic positive energetic and full of life so thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you enjoyed it please in case you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up in case you've not yet subscribed honey you see all this sauce that you're missing out on you see all this amazingness you see all this positivity you see all this energy you definitely need to be a part of this squad so to all my Sharon Googie squad thank you I love you all I appreciate each and every one of you and you guys give me the energy and give me the motivation to keep creating even more content and to just be on my air game so thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned for more of this and please comment and tell me have you tried out these dreadlocks how do they feel for you how the, has the journey been for you so far and let's keep let's keep staying safe let's keep staying sane and let's keep being the best version of ourselves till next time goodbye <laughs>